Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Today, we're going to explore one of the most powerful tools in a cybersecurity professional's arsenal, Kaylee Linux. Kaylee Linux is a specialized operating system designed specifically for security testing and ethical hacking. It's packed with hundreds of tools that can help you identify and fix vulnerabilities in systems, making it an essential tool for anyone interested in cybersecurity. It's a special operating system packed with tools for security testing. These tools range from network analyzers to password crackers and everything in between. Each tool is designed to help you understand and secure different aspects of a computer system. Think of it like a hacker's toolbox, but we use it for good. Ethical hackers use these tools to find and fix security weaknesses before malicious hackers can exploit them. This proactive approach helps keep our digital world safe and secure. You can install it on your computer or use a virtual machine. Virtual machines are a great way to get started with Kali Linux because they allow you to run the operating system without making any changes to your existing setup. Don't worry, we'll walk you through it all. From downloading the ISO file to setting up your first virtual machine, we've got you covered. Our step-by-step -step guides will make the process easy and straightforward. You can use it just like any other operating system, but with the added power of all those cybersecurity tools. Whether you're browsing the web, writing code, or running security tests, Kali Linux has you covered. Get ready to unleash your inner ethical hacker. With Kali Linux, you'll have the tools and knowledge you need to make a real difference in the world of cybersecurity. So let's dive in and start exploring the amazing capabilities of Kali Linux together. All right, let's get our hands dirty with John the Ripper, or JTR for short. This powerful tool is a favorite among security professionals and ethical hackers. It's designed to help you test the strength of your passwords and ensure your systems are secure. Think of JTR as our master key, ready to unlock those weak passwords. It works by taking a list of potential passwords and trying each one until it finds a match. This process is called brute forcing and it's surprisingly effective against poorly chosen passwords. The good news is, JTR usually comes pre-installed in Kali Linux. Kali Linux is a popular operating system among security professionals because it comes with a suite of tools designed for penetration testing and digital forensics. But just in case, we'll show you how to install it manually. This way, you'll be prepared no matter what system you're working on. Manual installation is a great skill to have in your toolkit. Open up your terminal in Kali. That's where the magic happens. The terminal is a powerful interface that allows you to interact directly with your operating system using text commands. Type in sudo apt-get install john and hit enter. This command tells your system to download and install john the ripper from the software repositories. This command tells Kaylee to download and install JTR. The installation process might take a few moments, so be patient. You'll see a progress bar indicating the download and installation status. It's like ordering your favorite hacking tool online. Except, instead of waiting for a delivery, the software is downloaded and installed directly onto your system. Once the installation is complete, you're all set to crack some passwords. With John the Ripper installed, you now have a powerful tool at your disposal to test and improve your system's security. Happy hacking! Using John the Ripper is super easy, even for beginners. We'll start with the basics. First, you need a password file. This file contains the hashed passwords we want to crack. Think of hashes as scrambled versions of passwords. Our goal is to unscramble them. Now, open your terminal and type John, password file. Replace password file with the actual name of your password file. Hit enter and JTR will get to work. It will try different methods to crack the passwords, and if it's successful, it will show you the cracked passwords in the terminal. Let's see a real example. Imagine you have a password file named passwords.txt on your Kali machine. Open your terminal and type John passwords.txt. That's it. JTR will start working its magic. As JTR analyzes the hashed passwords, you'll see information scrolling on your screen. Don't worry about the technical details. The important thing is to watch for cracked passwords. If JTR cracks any password, it will display it clearly on the screen. This demonstration shows you the power of JTR in action. Section 5 Word List Attacks 
Imagine you have a dictionary of common passwords. That's basically what a word list is in the hacking world. John the Ripper can use these word lists to try and guess the passwords we're trying to crack. It's like trying all the keys on a giant keychain until we find the right one. To use a word list with John the Ripper, you simply add dash dash word list equal sign slash path slash to slash word list dot txt to your command. For example, John dash dash word list equal sign slash usr slash share slash word lists slash rock you dot txt passwords dot text. This tells John the Ripper to use the rock you dot text word list, which is a popular one for cracking passwords. Section six, different cracking modes, JTR, or John the Ripper, is like a Swiss Army knife of password cracking. Just as a Swiss Army knife has multiple tools for different tasks, JTR offers various modes to tackle different password cracking scenarios. Each mode is designed to handle specific types of passwords and situations, making it a versatile tool in the hands of a skilled user. It has different modes for different situations. These modes are like specialized tools, each with its own unique function and purpose. Understanding these modes can significantly enhance your ability to crack passwords efficiently and effectively. Think of it like choosing the right tool for the job. Just as you wouldn't use a hammer to tighten a screw, you need to select the appropriate mode in JTR based on the specific requirements of the password you're trying to crack. One mode is single crack mode, which is great for when you have some information about the password, like the username. This mode leverages known information to make educated guesses significantly speeding up the cracking process. Another mode is incremental mode, which tries all possible character combinations. This mode is exhaustive and thorough, ensuring that no possible combination is left unchecked. It's particularly useful when you have no prior information about the password. This mode takes longer, but it's more thorough. The time investment can be significant, but the payoff is that it leaves no stone unturned, making it a reliable choice for complex passwords. JTR also has a word list mode, which we already talked about. This mode uses a pre-compiled list of potential passwords, making it quick and efficient for common passwords. It's like having a cheat sheet of the most likely passwords. Choosing the right mode depends on the situation and what you know about the passwords you're trying to crack. Each mode has its strengths and weaknesses, and understanding these can help you make an informed decision. Whether you're working with known information, Trying every possible combination or using a word list, JTR has a mode to suit your needs. Section 7. Tips and Best Practices Here are some pro tips for using JTR like a boss. First, always keep your JTR updated. Just like any software, updates bring new features and improvements. You can update JTR through the terminal using the command sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade. Second, use multiple word lists. The more word lists you use, the higher your chances of cracking passwords. You can even combine word lists to create a super word list. Remember, the key to success with JTR is to be creative and resourceful. Section 8. Ethical Considerations Hold on, hackers. Before you unleash JTR on the world, let's talk about ethics. Using JTR to crack passwords without permission is illegal and unethical. It's like breaking into someone's house just because you know how to pick locks. Not cool. Always use JTR for ethical purposes, like testing the security of your own systems, or with explicit permission from the owner of the system you're testing. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Let's use our hacking skills for good. Section 9. Conclusion Congratulations! You've just learned the basics of cracking passwords with John the Ripper in Kaylee Linux. You now have the power to uncover weak passwords and improve security. Remember to use your newfound skills ethically and responsibly. Keep practicing, keep learning, and keep those passwords secure. This is just the beginning of your ethical hacking journey. There's so much more to explore in the world of cybersecurity. So keep experimenting, keep learning, and most importantly, have fun.